I would like to congratulate all of you because you are studying in a very good school headed by such a wonderful principal who has brought glory to this institution. You know, if you see this building one year before, what it was and what she has made a new building just within one year. She has changed the face of this building. So many good labs, chemistry lab, physics lab, biology lab, these stairs and such a good ground and so many good rooms, offices, computer room, they are so impressive. Children must be feeling very happy to study in a school which is so neat and clean and your buddy Didi has made it so good. Not only outside surroundings of the school has been made good, but the results of this branch are most outstanding, have been given in the board examination. The results have started improving after her coming. So any words of praise in honor of your principal and in honor of your respected teacher will be utterly insufficient. I would like to congratulate respected principal and respected teacher for their hard work, their commitment and their sacrifice and sacrifice for the love of the children. I will also like to commend the children of this branch who are highly disciplined, who are very good children and who are very studious. They work very hard, they are disciplined and they really devote their time in studying. I would like to congratulate each and every child of this campus who is hard working, who is disciplined and who is obedient to the orders of the principal and the teacher. Because if you obey the teacher, then you can succeed in life. The only way to be successful in life is to be a good student, good and smart. You should be both. You are very smart. But what is good about you is that you are a good children also. You are both good and smart. And the children who are both good and smart, they ultimately become the gift of God to mankind. They become the pride of the human race. They become the potential light of the world. So dear children, you can become a potential light of the world. You can become a gift of God to mankind. You can become a pride of the human race if you are both good and smart. And I can see the children of this branch are good as well as smart. They are good and smart both. They are the balanced human being. And those who are balanced, they develop in their life, they make progress in this life, they achieve great heights in their life, so I am sure you will all achieve great heights in life. Dear children, this is your most impressionable age. When the children, small children of classes 6, 7th and 8th and 9th and 10th, these children are most receptive. Whatever you receive and listen with the two ears and watch with the two eyes, so through audio and visual, the impressions that you gather in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, they remain forever in your life. For the past many, many years, you are watching so many international programs being organized by your branch as well as other branches. You are also going to the jhaki, the tableau of CMS every year. And you must have noticed that what kind of mindset we are trying to make. What we are instilling in our minds, प्यारे बच्चों मैंने एक बच्चे से पूछा बेटे कहाँ जा रहे हो तो बोला कि जी ढाई बज गए स्कूल की छुट्टी हो गई है तो मैं घर जा रहा हूँ तो मैंने पूछा तुम्हारा घर कहाँ है बोले साहब स्कूल के सामने वाला तो मैंने कहा यार वहाँ तो तुम्हारे पिताजी की प्लेट मैंने देखी मैं तो तुम्हारे घर पूछ रहा हूँ वो लड़का कहता है सर आप क्या बात कर रहे हैं अरे मेरे पिता का घर मेरा नहीं है क्या मैंने कहा यार तुम तो बड़े समझदार मालूम पड़ते हो अरे साहब इसमें क्या समझदारी की बात है पिता का घर तो अपना होता ही है मैंने अच्छा एक बात बताओ ये किसका है बोले कि मेरा है मैंने ये तुम्हारा कैसे है कि इतना ग्लोब इतनी सृष्टि इतना संसार ये सारी वर्ल्ड तुम्हारी है जी हाँ मेरी है मैंने तुम्हारी कैसे है हाँ मेरे पिता की है मैंने कहा यार तुमने तो हद कर दी वो चार कमरे वाला मकान तुम्हारे पिता का है और ये सारा ग्लोब 
तुम्हारे पिता ने बनाया अरे सर हर आदमी के दो पिता होते हैं ना मैंने कहा भाई मेरा तो एक ही पिता है नहीं साहब दो होते हैं मैंने बता भैया दो कौन है तो बोला कि साहब एक तो शरीर का पिता हम अपने स्कूल में सुन के आए एक शरीर का पिता जो हमारे घर में रहते हैं और एक हमारी आत्मा का पिता परमात्मा सर ये परमात्मा का घर है ये परमात्मा ने बनाया है और परमात्मा भी हमारा ही तो पिता है हमारी उसी की तो आत्मा हमारे अंदर है वो पराया तो नहीं है ना वो तो अपना है ना देखो हमारे पिताजी तो दूसरे कमरे में सोते हैं लेकिन वो पिता हमारी आत्मा का पिता परमात्मा हमारे साथ ही रहता है चौबीस घंटे दिन में भी सांसें चलाता है रात में भी जब हम सो जाते हैं तो हमारी सांसों को वही परमात्मा चलाता है हम आंखों से देखते हैं कान से सुनते हैं वाणी बोलती है मुंह खाता है हाथ पैर हिलते डुलते हैं मस्तिष्क काम करता है सब इसीलिए कि परमात्मा की आत्मा हमारे अंदर है लेकिन जब आत्मा निकल जाती है तो फिर न हाथ चलेगा न कान सुनेगा न वाणी बोलेगी न मुंह खाएगा न मस्तिष्क काम करेगा तब फिर क्या करते हैं घर के लोग कहते हैं ले जाओ जला कर आओ या गाड़ कर आओ अब इसमें कुछ नहीं है सब चला गया कोई कहे कि भैया सत्तर किलो का वजन मौजूद है क्या चला गया फोटो ले लीजिए सब कुछ मौजूद है कहेंगे नहीं नहीं भैया ये तो सब मिट्टी है सब कुछ गया क्या चला गया इसकी आत्मा निकल गई वो आत्मा परमात्मा का अंश परमात्मा में जाकर विलीन हो गई उस इसमें से निकल गई सब कुछ चला गया वो आत्मा जब चली जाती है तो सब कुछ चला जाता है और आत्मा है हमारे अंदर तो फिर हमारी आंखें भी देख रही हैं कान भी सुन रहे हैं वाणी भी बोल रही है मुंह भी खा रहा है मस्तिष्क भी काम कर रहा है हाथ पैर भी हिलते जुलते हैं सब कुछ काम हो रहा है लेकिन कब तक जब तक कि हमारी आत्मा हमारे अंदर है तो ये जो आत्मा का घर है ये परमात्मा है जिसने जिसकी आत्मा हमारे अंदर है ये उसका घर है तो वो हमारा अपना पिता है वो चौबीसों घंटे हमारे साथ रहता है जब हम अच्छा सोचते हैं तो अंदर से आवाज आती है तुम ठीक सोच रहे हो और जब हम बुरा सोचते हैं तो भी आवाज आती है ये बात ठीक नहीं है ये बुरी बात है तो वो हमें अच्छे बुरे का ज्ञान कराता है हमारी आत्मा में वो परमात्मा जो चौबीसों घंटे हमारे साथ रहता है हमारे हमें बुराई से बचाता है भलाई की ओर ले जाता है जो हमारा प्राणों का आधार है उसके कारण ही हमारे प्राण हैं उसके कारण ही हमारा जीवन है उस परमात्मा ने ये सृष्टि बनाई है तो ये सृष्टि अपनी तो है ना पराई तो नहीं है ना इस सृष्टि में कुछ लोगों ने कमियां पैदा कर दी हैं दूरियां पैदा कर दी हैं आपसी झगड़े पैदा कर दिए हैं धर्मों के नाम पर दूरियां हो गई हैं तो मैं इन सबको खत्म करूंगा एक दिन दुनिया एक करूंगा धरती स्वर्ग बनाऊंगा और विश्व शांति का सपना एक दिन सच करके दिखलाऊंगा मैं सारे विश्व में शांति करूंगा सारे विश्व में एकता लाऊंगा क्योंकि ये सब जमीन है मेरी ये आसमान है मेरा मकीन हर मकान हूं मैं हर एक मकान है मेरा मैं क्यों कहूं कि बस मेरा वतन मुल्क हिंद है कि मैं हूं सारे जहान का सारा जहान है मेरा तो प्यारे बच्चों आप रोजाना एक प्रार्थना करते हो प्रार्थना का अर्थ भी मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण प्रार्थना है प्रार्थना बहुत छोटी है लेकिन ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है इतनी ज्यादा अच्छी है ये इसमें कहते हैं आई वियर विटनेस टू माई गॉड द दाव हैज क्रिएटेड मी टू नो दी एंड टू वर्चिप दी मैं साक्षी देता हूं ये मेरे परमेश्वर कि तूने मुझे इसलिए उत्पन्न किया है कि मैं तुझे जानूं और तेरी पूजा करूं यह थे सिटी मॉन्टेसोरी स्कूल के संस्थापक प्रबंधक एवं प्रख्यात शिक्षाविद डॉक्टर जगदीश गांधी जिनका मानना है आज मानव जाति को जय जगत के नारे को बुलंद करने की आवश्यकता है तथा विश्व में वास्तविक शांति लाने के लिए बच्चे ही सबसे सशक्त माध्यम हैं। डॉक्टर गांधी द्वारा शिक्षाप्रद आध्यात्मिक बातें इन प्रतिष्ठित चैनलों द्वारा 
नित्य प्रसारित की जाती हैं तथा रोजाना उनके विचार सी एम एस एफ एम रेडियो नब्बे दशमलव चार मेगा से भी प्रसारित किए जाते हैं छात्रों शिक्षकों व अभिभावकों के मार्गदर्शन हेतु डॉक्टर जगदीश गांधी द्वारा लिखित पुस्तकें साहित्य भारती इंटरनेशनल न्यूमन ग्रुप 4C अंसारी रोड दरियागंज नई दिल्ली एक एक शून्य 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 दो से प्राप्त की जा सकती हैं। World with the power of Jai Jagat, City Montessori School since 1959 has been actively working to construct the defences of peace in the minds of students, for which CMS in the year 2002 was awarded with the UNESCO Prize for Peace Education. A Guinness World Record holder for being the largest city school in terms of number of students enrolled. CMS education revolves around the twin poles of godliness and globalism through four pillars of education namely universal values excellence in all things global understanding and service to humanity it is no wonder that city montessori schools gomtinagar first campus has been awarded first prize for academic reputation at all india level by the education world magazine in its india school rankings of 2015 it is also awarded first prize for being the best co-ed school in lucknow as well as in uttar pradesh CMS founder Dr Jagdish Gandhi has been motivating parents and generations of good and smart children through holding special prayer assemblies and divine education conferences.
City Montessori School has set up a peace table in Lucknow in the form of International Conference of Chief Justices of the World, making a global impact by bringing together 888 eminent participants who are heads of states, chief justices and judges from 121 countries since the last 16 years when the first conference was held. At the outset, I would say that neglect of the social, economic and cultural heritage is rise of various conflict including the international terrorism. Intergenerational responsibility of this generation to provide to the coming generation a safe future. Many heads of state and peace promoters have participated in this international conference of chief justices of the world with whom CMS students have interacted at the CMS World Unity Convention Center Auditorium to find solutions for a united, better, peaceful and humane world order. I am certain that participation of you all here will send out a positive message to all the leaders of the world and will motivate them to come together on a common platform and work towards the common goal of world unity and world peace to ensure a safe future of our children and the generation to come. I would like to express my appreciation to students of CMS and I am so impressive with students of those schools whom have become a source of inspiration for us. This 16th International Conference of Chief Justices of the World has been, is a continuation of a vision that has been developed by Mr. Jagdish Gandhi. I have come here many times. I have passion. I have passion for what Dr. Gandhi is doing in, at CMS. All of you gathered here as Chief Justices have an awesome and very special responsibility to safeguard freedom, democracy and decency in our world. You are the watchdogs, the guardians of the rule of law in your countries and in the world, without which democratic institutions cannot function properly. In 2002, His Excellency Dr. Paul Kagame, President, Republic of Rwanda, and His Excellency Sir Daniel Williams, Governor General of Grenada, shared the platform. In 2003, His Excellency Sir James R. Muncham, KBE, Founding President and former PM, Republic of Seychelles, supported the cause by participating. The conference of 2006 was attended by His Excellency Mr. Kasamuddin, former President, Republic of Mauritius, and His Excellency Mr. Akibar Lesau Lehola, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Home Affairs Lesotho. 2010 was graced by the renowned spiritual leader and Nobel Laureate His Holiness the Dalai Lama, much to the excitement of children. importance of secondary level, the forgetting how fundamental level we are same human being. But then, particularly today's world, because of global economy and also environment issue, the world becomes just one small planet. His Excellency Sir Iacoba T. Italeli, 
Governor General of Tuvalu, attended the conference in the year 2012. Mauritius' commitment to the Chief Justice's conference in building a robust, peaceful world is apparent when in 2013, the sitting President of Republic of Mauritius, His Excellency Mr. Rajkeshwar Puryak, attended and stayed for the entire length of the conference. In 2014, the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World, the World Judiciary Summit on Article 51 of the Constitution of India was represented by His Excellency Mr. Kagalema Motlante, President of Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Mr. Stejapan Mezik, President Republic of Croatia, His Excellency Mr. Emil Constantensiu, President of Republic of Romania, His Excellency Mr. Regzef Medani, President of Republic of Albania, His Excellency Mr. Ludwig Scotti, former President of Nauru and present Speaker of Parliament of Nauru, and His Excellency Mr. Alexander Ferdinand, former President of Central African Republic and current President, National Transitional Council Centre, African Republic. This year, His Excellency Ms. Chandrika Kumaratunga, President, Republic of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Sejapan Mezik, President, Republic of Croatia, and His Excellency Sir Rodney Ere Lawrence Williams, Governor General of Antigua and Barbuda, added a lot of value to the conference. Since 2001, eminent governors, chief ministers, speakers, ministers, ambassadors, and high commissioners from India and abroad have participated in the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World. Former Prime Minister of India Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Deputy Prime Minister Mr. L.K. Adwani and many Ministers of Government of India have written to City Montessori School congratulating the school for this exemplary effort. In response to a letter of request sent by Dr. Jagdish Gandhi urging United Nations to take immediate action to save the world, the then Secretary General Dr. Kofi Annan wrote back saying, We at the United Nations can do nothing alone. Our strength is the strength of our member states when they agree to act together for the common good. Concluding his letter, Dr. Kofi Annan lauded CMS's efforts by saying, it gives me great pleasure to extend to the World Peace Prayer Society and the City Montessori School of Lucknow my best wishes for a successful, memorable International Peace Festival. He ended with a strong message, I am counting on you all. Jai Jagat. शिक्षात्मक सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम एवं चिंतन हेतु विश्व एकता सत्संग में आप सभी सब परिवार सादर आमंत्रित हैं